Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in Taiwan News, December 27th, 2018. China's African debt trap. Beijing prepared to seize Kenya's port of Mombasa. Not good news. You know, China knows that these African nations cannot pay back the funds. And this is why they are trying to grab up as much of African properties and towns and anything else they can get their hands on resources as they can. And, you know, I just hope in the future more people, more countries over in Africa will turn down these offers from China. You know, it really is a trap when you see what's going on and what China is offering is nothing compared to what they get if they default on the loan. Let China keep their money, find a way to make it. All right. China may be preparing to seize some major assets in the African nation of Kenya as a result of debt trap diplomacy. African media reports that Kenya may soon be forced to relinquish control of its largest and most lucrative port in Mombasa to Chinese control. Wow. Ooh, this is not going to turn out well. Other assets related to the inland shipment of goods from the port include the inland container depot in Nairobi, and the standard gauge railway may also be compromised in the event of a Chinese port takeover. Kenya has reportedly taken extremely large loans from the communist government for the development of some major highways and especially for the SGR, um, which is their railway which will form a crucial transport link to and from Nairobi for the import and export of goods through Mombasa. In November, Moody's noted that Kenya is at high risk of losing strategic assets because of debts owed to Beijing. Local media began to express concern that China lenders may be angling to seize assets since it does not appear to have Kenyan government uh, will be capable to repay the loans. And that is correct, you know, but again, it, it is a very imbalanced kind of trade. You know, they're offering $60 billion, but they're seizing something that has the potential to bring trillions in income to them between the resources and the port and everything. No, it's very imbalance. It's very imbalance. Okay, um, now one month later, ahead of the new year, it's been reported that the Chinese may be preparing to take over the Mombasa port infrastructure soon. The African stand also seems to suggest that the SGR, which is operated by the Chinese, may have been designed to be a loss-making venture. Of course it is. China knows this in advance. They know that these countries are not going to be able to pay the funds back to them. With a reported loss of KES $10 billion, uh, which uh, KES 10 billion, which is equivalent to US dollars of 98 million in its first year of operation, it would be nearly impossible to repay the loans taken for its construction in the time requested. Kenya reportedly accepted loans of KES um, 5 billion. Wow. Wait a minute. Five, 500 billion, which is equivalent to, uh, 4.9 
$1.5 billion in U.S. money for the SGR construction. So that's the construction of the railway. Wow. <laughs> Kenya's Arth, um, Auditor General reportedly stated that deal has always favored the Chinese Exxon Bank, which advanced the loan for the project. Further, Kenya signed on to a deal that requires any arbitration of disputes related to the debt must take place in China from the African stand. So, wow. An audit completed last month indicates that Kenya Ports Authority assets, which include the Mabasa port, could be taken over if the SGR does not regulate enough cash to pay off the debts. The China Exim Bank would become a principal over KPA if Kenya Railways Corporation defaults in its obligation and China Exim. When the Chinese lender granted the loan to the Kenyan government, somehow the KPA uh, signed on as a borrower. Somehow Kenya's government agreed that the port would not be protected by sovereign immunity since the government waived the immunity on the Kenyan ports assets a virtue of KPS signing on as a borrower, according to the Auditor General. It's becoming increasingly clear that China's design on the nation of Africa are anything but benevolent. Kenya appears to be lining up behind Zambia, which is slated to lose its international airport as well as its national electricity grid because of defaults on Chinese loans. African nations must wake up to China's new form of colonialism that is chipping away at their critical infrastructure, one major asset at a time. And I agree with that. This is nothing but colonialism and no one should be doing deals with China where you lose so much of your assets to them. And it's very imbalanced. Like I said, what China is offering is not worth it. Not, not, they're not worth giving up your port and your resources for. It's not enough money for that. Ah, oh, boy. You know, these countries really got themselves in a, a big mess. And I was reading how Ethiopia is now in over their heads on these Chinese loans as well. I mean, th this is ridiculous. They know this deal is no good. They know it's no good. But they also know these African nations will go for it. They want those assets. They want the money. They know it. That's why they can put such a low amount on the table, but gain so much, um, uh, you know, what they're gaining well exceeds what they have offered in the first place. And they know this. They would never accept that deal from you. <laughs> they wouldn't. If it was the other way around, they would never accept you taking property and assets in China for a little meager amount of money. They would never accept that, but they know these African nations, many of them will take that. And they are definitely um, a predatory uh, lender. That's how I would classify them. And all they're gonna do is bring colonialism back in the places <laughs> that once thought they were running away from, you know, they were away from that stuff, but they're not so far away from it anymore. And we know the Chinese are bringing all kinds of racism into Africa to add insult to injury. It's not worth it. 
You need to get these Chinese people out of Africa. Turn down anything that they're offering and get rid of them. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.